the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. I am here because Alex is not. Uh, he texted me late last night. He's going somewhere, Bishop McGinnis. So as we prepare for this holy and sacred celebration, let us pause calling to mind our sins. <clears throat> and so we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constantly in faith, constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promise of which you have learned, we have learned from you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The response is from Psalm 145. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends Praise make them, known, O Lord, Lord, the glorious splendor, splendor of, of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O oh Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O oh Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom.
Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead so as to enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the most holy gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave you with, with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would remain here at the podium because it does have a better microphone. That Jesus gives peace, not as the world gives it. Um, there was a priest by the name of Father McGrath, I think from Scotland, or I think Scotland. Uh, and at the end of the 60s, you know, when there was all sorts of turmoil here in the United States, and of course there, I kind of lived it, the best parts of it, through the vicarious least of my older sisters. Uh, but in the, in the, of course, it was a time of great love, revol revolution, and of course, there were all the the, the, the love children out in, out east. Excuse me, out west. Um, there was uh, pre there was this whole thing about occupation, occupation of universities, especially. Uh, to change things, and then also, of course, uh, so many of the, the the people that came back from the soldiers that came back from Vietnam were treated terribly, um, uh, as if they were it was their fault that they had the war or something. And uh, anyway, uh, it was beginning to spread over across the pond, as they call it. And then someone asked this Father McGrath. We see if he was going to join this, this, this movement. He said, I don't need to join a movement. I've been a part of a Catholic church. That's the greatest peace movement that you could have on the face of the earth, which I liked. Um, you know, the peace that Jesus gives is not like any other peace, as we know. Um, I mean, People that believe in that kind of peace believe that what happened to Paul, and, and, and it was very difficult, but my gosh, the guy got right back on his feet and was out there continuing to save people's lives. And what causes people to do such great things um, and continue to persevere? The presence of Christ, the presence of Jesus Christ in their lives, the assurance that literally God lives with us has chosen to be with us. God, through his son, brought heaven to earth. And when he, when he will ascend to heaven, he's already ascended, but when we celebrate that ascension, we will celebrate that he takes earth to heaven as well. There is a joining between heaven and earth at this very time, and has been ever since Christ came into the world and then ascended back to the world. And that connection between heaven and earth through his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, is something very real and powerful and continues to be present very much so in the Holy Spirit. And in that, it gives you and I as Christians, hopefully, the strength to be able to continue to persevere in faith. We live, as I've said too many times, but maybe we need to hear it again. We live in extraordinary, difficult, and sad 
badly changing times. I mean by that, that the times, they're not changing necessarily for the good. There are many things, um, they've gone around, they're trying to create a whole completely different language. They're, 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 we've got, uh, uh, they're changing history of this, got this whole idea that they're, they're decided they're going to really do, redo the history of the United States and basically um, tell you and I that we are born into being racist um, there. And people are born into being racist. People are, are, are taught that. And once we change, if someone, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's wrong thinking. And of course, all the other things they believe, abortion, a variety of ways, then not only that, it's just the killing of the soul in so many variety of ways, I can't even stand up here and list all of them. And you and I are the people of God made flesh. And if we had just one quarter of the spunk given to Paul, and what he was able to do, knowing that God was with him at every moment and knowing that God will walk be with him and welcome him to heaven. Why do we not get that? Why are we so afraid to stand up for what we believe? We need to be able to do that because the world is being taken away from us. Our own country is being taken away from us from a bunch of people that are so radically on the other side of, of nothing of literally nothing, and nothingness that's going to consume this country and take away this, this heritage of Christianity that's been with us ever since the beginning of, of this country. And then the patronage of the Blessed Mother, pray, pray daily that through her, her intercessory care to her own son, that this will not happen, that you and I will indeed be given the strength to win the day and to be able to continue to proclaim boldly and directly, if needed, what the truths of Christ and what this place is all about. That is who we are. That is our lot in life, but that also is our peace because we are doing Christ's work in the world. And we need to understand what the Ten Commandments really mean because there's so many of them that are just being tossed aside. It is nothing less than an abomination. If we only had the gumption of Paul, you and I would be changing hearts and doing it away that is spreading love, the kind of love that makes a difference, the kind of peace that makes a difference, the kind that the world and this country especially needs to hear and needs to put into effect in their own lives. Trusting in the transforming power of God who walks with us and brings these prayers to him today. We bring these prayers to him with confidence today. For the church, may we be filled with the Holy Spirit as we grow in strength and unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public officials, may they be granted the courage to enact policies that lead to greater peace through the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those suffering from violence or abuse. May they receive God's peace and be encouraged through the loving action of those who follow Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those gathered here. May we be strengthened to persevere in our faith while carrying the crosses given to each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died. We remember uh, particularly Rose Hager, for whom this Mass is offered. May she and all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, rest in the peace of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for all those prayers brought before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration and for our private petitions we offer at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of peace, hear our prayers as we offer these petitions and those in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received this gift of bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the organist we receive this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit and perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself but for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for our taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles, our beloved patrons, St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and blessed Stanley Rother, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, by peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray together our St. Michael the Archangel prayer. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O God, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew my eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel by our lives. Thanks be to God.